Hey guys, today we're visiting Guitar Workshop, the home of the Gador Bell. It's an entryway chime, really, more than a Gador Bell, but the name sounded really good. When I first opened this shop in September of 1976, like all little shop owners, you need to know when the customers are coming into the store, especially if you're running it by yourself and you have to go to the back because you have to go to the bathroom or whatever, right? You need to know the doors go open and close. So I had a bell, like everybody has a ding a ling a ling on the bell. Hated the bell. The bell broke. And I was looking at the door, swinging back and forth. And I had these little guitars on the wall. A little guitar swinging door. I thought, well, what if I attached a pick to the door that's going back and forth like your pick strumming, right? And I figured out a way to bolt it up there and I tuned it to the sound of Hard Day's Night. So I just put it up there and lots of people said, oh, I love that. That's really cool. Could you make one? My dad would love one or my boyfriend would love one. And I, so I did. I made a bunch of them. Then I thought, well, hmm, I wonder if anybody has a patent on this. And nobody did have a patent on it. So I applied for a patent. I was out of my mind. How much money you throw at that, right? So I got it. Like, nobody had a patent. So I got a patent and a trademark, and I started making them, and I put it together. And now I sell them on SkyMall and eBay and on our own website. This was the very first Cador Bell right here. This was the very first striker that we made right here. It was just a piece of spring metal and a guitar pick bolted onto it. And this used to flap around and make a racket. And then, you know, we came up with other ideas like... Uh, I cutting a piece of plastic to see if this would work and that didn't work too well. And then I came up with the idea of a door stopper spring, which was this guy uh, with a pick screwed to it. And then I uh, came up with, the, a friend of mine did talk to me into doing 3D roto molding. We tried to make a one piece pick and uh, that kind of sort of worked. Um, and then we finally decided on making a trick pick that fit inside the spring, but it made a boing sound like a door spring, and that didn't work either. And finally we figured out that if we wrapped the door spring in shrink tubing with our special pick inserted in the end, it worked perfectly. So it took a lot of experimentation to get the right strum. Uh, for the logo, I sat down with Dave, and we had a conversation about, you know, what it what it represents and what he wanted people to think when he saw it. So we combined the, the music notes and the guitar into the name, kind of blended it all together to make the logo. In the box, again, Dave and I sat down and just kind of came, yeah, just, just kind of hammered out some ideas and the box that it is now is how we came up with it. Gadorbelt.com.